Hi, I'm Julian. I'm a student at King's College and I'm interested in a career in heating and ventilation. So we've brought Julian along to AirPro Mechanical Limited in Henderson. AirPro is one of the largest heating, ventilation and air conditioning contractors in New Zealand with over 120 employees. Francis Hunt is a senior tradesman with AirPro and takes responsibility for teaching AirPro's apprentices. So who better than Francis to show Julian around? G'day, you must be Julian. You must be Francis. Yeah, welcome to AirPro, mate. Come on in. Okay. We're all familiar with domestic heat pumps. The installation and maintaining of these is part of AirPro's business, but their main business is custom building and installing seriously large systems. Julian is going to see how the heating, ventilation and air conditioning systems are being manufactured and installed by AirPro for the refurbishment of the Auckland University's medical school. And like any large project, it all starts on the drawing board, where draftsman Richard translates the building's drawings into plant and equipment installation designs. What happens after this process or stage? So after this we take, we take a printout and then we give it to the factory and they will run to the machine and fabricate these pieces. Before Julian heads to the factory floor, he needs a health and safety briefing and the right gear. You're gonna need is things such as earplugs, gloves, safety boots, of course. Julian's task will be to make some ducting for the medical school. It's all manufactured to order at AirPro's factory to the specifications drawn up by Richard. This is the uh, galvanised iron that we're folding now to make the ducting for the medical school. Ducting is used to take air from A to B, and the ducting is made from sheet metal. The skill is getting it the right shape. We'll put this now through the lock former. So just start pushing it through. Yep. Let the machine do all the work for you. That's the one. The lock former makes a crease in the metal called a Pittsburgh, which will be useful later. But first, the metal needs more than one fold. Push the button, mate, and away she goes. Ta-da! <laughs> nice, clean 90 degree angle. <laughs> right, now that we've uh, done our folds, we pretty much now just have to join the other half. The Pittsburgh is the crease that allows one preformed part of the duct to be married to the other. We're going to start hammering away, so it's going to be quite a bit of noise. So in order to protect our ears, we best put in our earplugs. What was that? <laughs> Just give that a tap so it doesn't go anywhere. Well, what we need to do now is put the flanges on. The flange is riveted to the duct and is used for assembling the ducts together on site. OK, well, seems like you've got all right in control, mate. I think I'll leave you to it. I'm going to go have a cuppa. There's a few more over there. I'll see you later on. So have you finished those jobs I've given you? Yep. So Julian's handiwork is loaded up and sent to the site. G'day, Steve. Hey, g'day. This is uh, Julian. I've got to get back to base, so I'll leave you to it. Cool. Cheers. This is the, uh, the med school. Um, we've been here for about two years and basically getting it upgraded floor by floor. We'll have a look around, have a look at all the different systems and, and that, but first part though, we're going to get the safety induction done. Safety always comes first, and once briefed and kitted out, Julian and Steve head off. We'll go to the basement first, eh? So what this is, is a, what we call a plant room. Basically, we need to be able to provide fresh air, we need to be able to extract odour, we need to be able to uh, control the temperature, sometimes control humidity. This is a seriously man-sized installation, and chilled water is used to cool the air. This is basically the source of chilled water for a part of this building. It's all the black spongy ones are yeah, chilled. Yep, um, it's the insulation on them. These industrial installations are complex and challenging. So as a part of AirPro and stuff, you just install all of the, like, the chillers and the ducting? Uh, yep, basically, well, the entire system. All the duct work you see, all the pipe work you see that's connected to the mechanical systems. Um, also, the electrical and controls are generally, they're, they're generally in our scope, but we subcontract those out to other, other companies as well. It's not all about getting air in, sometimes it's getting air out that's important. So, you know, you'll be burning stuff away with your Bunsen burners in here, all the nasties going up there. Um, the gases that have come to here, the bottles will be contained over in this area here. What we've got here is um, different manifolds for different kinds of um, lab gases. 
those gases are used in the medical labs and a job for Julia now is to install one of the gas taps. Hold it that way. They're ready. Thank you. <laughs> Tap installed, Julian was then keen to find out more about the industry itself from Steve. What do you really enjoy about your job? In project management, you know, we're, we're sort of uh, having a, have our fingers on all those pies, so it's really varied. There's never a dull day. There was an underwater restaurant once in the Maldives. We did uh, Neil Finn's recording studios in, in Mount Eden. We, uh, when you do a, a shopping mall in the, the last few weeks, and it's just absolutely crazy, but you're walking through there at night, because everyone's sort of working the nights at that point, and it's just an amazing buzz. That's pretty cool, though. Pretty, pretty special when you get to the end of a major project and you, you know, and you, and you get it there. That's, that's, that's quite good. But what about the fundamental skills required by anyone wanting to start out in the industry? Julian asked AirPro's managing director Malcolm Clark for some sound advice. There's a saying that um, all knowledge is, is worthwhile, and. Um, I realised that um, you have to have a good grounding in English and particularly communication. Don't get too hung up about what you're learning, just recognise that everything is going to be of value sometime in the future. Well, it's been a busy couple of days for Julian, but did he make the right impression? Julian did really well. Uh, I think he'll be a, a bonus to the uh, company, you know, he got the right attitude, uh, good character, got a good hands on for the uh, job. Yeah, I'd recommend him and uh, all the best for the future. While there aren't any prerequisites to enter a heating, ventilation and air conditioning apprenticeship, a good grasp of maths and English is really useful, as is an interest in mechanical engineering. An HVAC apprenticeship takes between three to four years to complete. Most training is on the job and is supplemented by block courses and night classes to cover the theoretical part of the course through the Monaco Institute of Technology. Once the apprenticeship is completed, then you'll become a qualified HVAC tradesperson. Once qualified, rates of pay increase and continues to increase as you gain more experience. You earn while you learn and because of demand, prospects in the industry are excellent. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.